Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Factorio and last time we automated research and now we're rolling. We just uh, finished our first military research and let's see what can we do. There's turrets, walls, logistics. That is very needed so we should start researching logistics and uh, maybe yeah, do one supply run. So today we want to start getting into real mining. Get some stuff going for us, but yeah, we're we're okay with our starter setup here. We're producing some goods, and we can progress slow, but slowly but surely. Um, we definitely want to automate conveyor belts uh, as a start today with a little setup, kind of similar to what we've did and with um, our research there that is running now. Definitely want to do that because we're gonna need a lot of conveyors, and I don't wanna handcraft them all and maybe we should also set up uh, an automated uh, automation for circuits everything that we need in the beginning and we can save shave off some time um, you know with the handcrafting this is gonna be this is gonna be a good investment of our of our time here okay let's get all these copper plates nice okay now we also here down down at the stone you're gonna use this stone now we're gonna be smart about it um, here there was another stone depot, depot down there yeah we're gonna set up a little production for bricks and stuff and for furnaces okay um, yeah first of all let's load these two make sure they're always loaded okay and yeah we said we wanted to do a little bit um, furnace production so we have one of these okay let's set up a drill uh, like that and we insert directly in one of those guys and this guy does uh, those and uh, just needs stone okay that is nice um, let's fill them both up so they run for a while okay they just need power and now we gonna put a chest here where's the output of that thing should be able to output directly right where's the output of one of these Wait, let me quickly check i need to check that does it have an output oh no it doesn't okay so we have to robot it out. <laughs> All right, so be it. Like a so, and now we need power. So let's grab some of our power and bring it over there. Maybe, yeah, along here, along the shoreline. I know that you can drag power lines out, but you know, right here it's a bit, it's a bit tedious. So I want to do it by hand or slower, not necessarily by hand. Mm, yeah, yeah, good enough. Okay, so now what is what is the problem here? Okay, not push directly into that. Seems it can't. Okay, another lesson learned. Well, we want to do, what did you want to do? Yeah, furnaces. Sure, it should work, right? Yeah, of course. Was a bit confused there. Yeah, there you can see the noobishness in me here and there. And I'm like, huh, well, I'm looking at things like an idiot. Okay, yeah, we are producing furnaces here now. That is a good, good thing. Okay, with that done, we must consider, we definitely gonna have a walkway down, down the middle here. Yep. 
I also should set up a stone passage uh, production. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, we need to start to make uh, pathways. That is so sure because we're walking around a lot. So we should do this here down and abandon our stone setup we have going on on top. Who cares? Um, can we do electric mining drills already? Yes, we can. Because there's something we need now and we should should get a little bit more more off okay so let's set up let's do two electric mining drills actually um, let's make another one okay and we need to make a bunch of transport belt okay that's that cool I need a lot of that stuff so let's start setting it up um mm, yeah let's try to make the best of it later we need to grab more so let's say we start here with the first row yeah let's start here okay here and there right next to each other and they pull outward and um, we're gonna give them some power. Like that. And then we need those guys, conveyor belts. And we're gonna transport stone out towards here for now. It's temporary, but I want that. So, um, next thing we need furnaces and I guess we're just gonna do a very simple array. Put two, f two furnaces right here next to each other and then we're gonna use one of those and just tell them to uh, um, insert here, so here and we're gonna need a few more and here and uh, then I guess we yeah we export to a chest uh, it could have been a smarter setup here but yeah it doesn't matter in the end um, let's come out here and there we have a chest then and we do something like that it's not the most efficient thing but who cares it's temporary anyways there we go and then we want to give them some power. Let's see. There's a good spot. Maybe here and, uh, and there. Okay. Ooh. And we want to get our conveyor belt further up. So we can feed these guys. And last thing we need to do is put some coal in these suckers. Mm -hmm. And now hopefully we get a decent production of walkway stone. That needed to be done anyways. So as I run, so that's done. I wanted to have that done. And um, yeah, here we're probably out of iron plates. Yeah throw some in and a half stack of copper too so the research keeps on running most of the time okay so another thing we definitely want and we could set that up maybe opposite to here is we want to have a production for conveyor belts so let's say yeah to make it a bit symmetrical we have a walkway there later like here or something yeah that leads up and over and up. Okay, yeah, I need to start laying out my walkways. It's also on our agenda today. Let's see if we how far we get. So um, we need definitely two of those. So let's get them going. And we want to produce uh, stuff and it's supposed to be in this chest in the end. So assembly machine definitely somewhere here and um, yeah from this assembly machine we grab the done conveyor belt 
belts, conveyor belts, here. And they need iron plate and iron gear. Boom. That means we need to have a chest um, right here again. And we can grab iron plates from here. And that needs to be uh, like this. And we do it like that. And almost done. We need one more of these. So let's make a few. Okay. Yeah, this is the stuff you need to do beforehand, otherwise you will regret it later. Okay, our research is running. Um, yeah, we got the conveyor belts and stuff we needed. Um, yeah, we have that already. Yeah, let's do steel, whatever. We can get a better axe. And then do this. And now we should be cool. Let's tell this guy to make wheels. And now... We need power for all of that again. Maybe here and here. So now everything should be powered. And if we put iron uh, into this chest here, we should see the thing start kicking. So let's grab some iron. Let's also grab some coal while we're here. Okay, let's see if this thing goes off. Mm-hmm. Some iron plates in there. And yes, we are manufacturing. Nice. We should definitely cap this though to here. This doesn't have to be kept. We're not gonna produce so much of it anyways. So that's good. Okay. Sweet. Uh, we need we're gonna need a lot of them. Let's feed them properly. Okay, those guys, get them some coal, get some more coal, okay, we are up and running, let's quickly go to the copper and grab that too, so now we are producing conveyor belts, that is very nice and now we need to start laying out the base further, so let's grab that real quick. And fill those up. Okay, running again. So, we want to have smelting arrays, and I found a standard design for that on the forums, and I definitely want to use it. So, a smart place to arrange it would be along here, facing this direction, and then later, if you look on the map, we can expand our bus this way easy so that's what we're gonna do downside of it there's a lot of wood but fun part of it we're gonna use our shotgun to clear it so <laughs> um i have blueprints here blueprint library and it's the basic smelting setup yeah i like it uh, let's put that here and uh, basic smelting it looks like that yeah and um, we're gonna need a lot of these and they're all gonna be lined up facing upwards here. In any case, the first one needs to go right here. Now, we can also start here. Just looking at the map, yeah, we can start here. Okay, so we're gonna have one here and then we're gonna have four iron. That is definitely needed. One, two, three, four. Hey, ah, oh, there's something in the way. What's in the way? Stupid tree. Okay, this goes away. All right, there is copper up there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I must start further down. Stuff needs to be further down. Okay, so we need to make a shotgun. Um, shotgun and all the ammunition you can you can do. We need to clear trees here. We need more space. Oh, get that. 
make a ton of ammunition. Okay, cool, we got the shotgun. Yay! Okay. Let's see. It's dark, but we need to clear trees. This is the way to do it. Saves you a lot of time. <laughs> Stuff needs to be gone. Go, go. Nice. Let's clear that a bit here. We will look at the smelter in a second. Just want to clear, clear out some of the stuff here. All right, gone. And here. Nice. That's a good way to clear trees. Way better than the stupid shopping. Still annoying that we have to do it though. Okay, now we have enough play, uh, space. So, these are our basic iron smelting arrays. And then we will have four for copper. Yeah, we can we can feed off we can feed off this forever. If we cross some uh, some of that, that doesn't matter. And then uh, probably then we want to have three more two for steel <coughs> and some others but yeah we'll figure that out okay i would say um, we start building one of those so now we have our automatic belt production that is a good thing boom boom get all these belts and in the meantime we need to do as many of these as possible what is missing um we are missing Iron blades, iron blades. Okay, okay, okay. So, give me some. Some iron plate love. Good. And let's make all of them. We need them anyways. Okay, off to our blueprint. And um, let's start building that. Oh yeah, we also need... Yeah, let's do this first. So... It's a pretty efficient array. You can see there is furnaces all over here and then inserters and what happens is you bring in iron and coal and the iron and coal is going to be split on the outer lanes and um, yeah just grab from here insert it into the furnaces and in the middle is the output for our uh, iron plates then. So output comes out here and yeah that's pretty much it. Pretty efficient setup. I found I played around with some setups myself, but I found this is uh, working really fine. It's easily expandable, uh, or you know, upgradable and so on. So that's really good. So yeah, here we go up. Here we go down, and here we pretty much just come around the corner like that. So that's already set up. So now. Um, we're still gra crafting shotgun uh, shotgun ammunition. I think I can stop that um, uh, for now. No, stop it. Go away. We need our other stuff done. Okay, copper coils and stuff. And yeah, what are we missing? Power poles. We can do power poles in the meantime, at least the ones we have. So we need one here. Whoop. Right, yeah, here, oh, research, that spooked me out, let's research that, okay, um, we need one here, one there, one there, no, that was wrong, one here, one here, one here, one here, and now we're out, and we need a few more, okay, Get some of the wood, or do we have wood? Yeah, we have more than enough. Okay, we need iron plates. We're just still crafting like crazy. Okay, let's get some of that sweet coal. And toss some in there. Nice. 
more iron. Okay, we're still crafting. Okay. What do we have? We have literally nothing we need. We're still crafting. Okay, but in any case, input here, you know, stuff gets split to the outside, get put into the furnaces. Um, so we always have iron and coal on the outer belt. That's uh, what the splitter setup does here. You'll see in a second when I finally uh, am done with the crafting here, man. It takes forever, but yeah, we need it. Um, in the meantime, we can maybe start laying out passes while we craft along here. I mean, there's nothing we can do. So let's quickly grab some stone we're producing down here. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. And we are gonna do it like that. And now, okay, path. Gonna lay one out and then we're gonna do um, a blueprint for it. So we're gonna have a main path coming through right here in the middle. Like that. That's good. Okay, and now um, we're gonna say new blueprint. New no. No, 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 not a book. New blueprint. Uh, okay, then we're gonna say this is our new blueprint. Uh, yeah, we're good. And then we can just ghost paint. Okay, this is where we headed with our road here. Okay, where and then we also gonna go this direction. So pretty much somewhat through here we can correct that later. Okay. Now we have ghost paths laid out, so this is this is what we definitely need to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the path we can. Here and this way, yeah, and we can easily delete all that so we don't have to look at it. But in any case, how much? Okay, yeah, I don't want you. I think it's time for. Another round of shotgunning our way through the forest here. Clear the path. Yeah. Way easier now, huh? Oops, I'm damaging our stuff a little bit. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. a little bit. We'll have to live with the damaged trees now. In case you have OCD, I'm not gonna go in there and chop them down right now. I have better stuff to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the, the real path. Let's fill it in. Okay. Yeah, all good. Where do we have the blueprint? I want to quickly get rid of... That's that's even bothering me. I mean, we need to get rid of that. Uh, so it's actually the real passageway, right? I mean, I'm not that cruel that I let you suffer like that, looking at this crooked path. Okay, but in any case, we have kind of an idea where our walkways are and things. There will be one leading through here, I guess. Okay, in the meantime, we probably have crafted a ton of stuff. Okay, so from the outside, we want to insert. So let's place those guys here. Oh, while we place, we need a bunch of those and a bunch of those. Underground belts and uh, balancers, splitters. And insert, 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 insert. Whoops. Uh, where was it? Here. And those are actually pushing out. Because we will get the smelted iron down here. So out, out. Okay. 
yeah, I definitely want to finish this build um, before we end the episode. And uh, these are also pushing out, so you can have a look at it. And next time we can maybe try it. Or maybe this, this time already, we will see. Okay, boom, boom. And those are actually also go facing this way because they're pushing in. The load comes from the outside. Boom, boom, boom. And we also need a bunch of those. All right. So let's grab them too. We need to lock our our um, hot bar. But yeah, one thing after the other. This goes here, 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 here. Okay, completely hooked up. Last thing we need is furnaces. And thankfully, didn't we have an array? Where was it? I think it was here, yeah. It was down here where we produce furnaces and I should reduce my walkways more frequently. Yep, whoops. Furnaces, give me those, yes indeed, paid off already, are we still producing, yeah, okay, we are still producing here, and we are also doing bricks automatically, so, so far, a pretty organized start, I would say, um, we're doing, we're doing, okay, so, um, what we need here as well is those splitters, or balancers and we also okay we're gonna lock them in place you stay here and you go away and here's the underground belt and we're gonna lock them all in place so we because we will frequently use them now okay and this leads in all right so now we have an input iron comes in here Mm -hmm. and coal comes in here cool and the iron we're gonna we're gonna tap from this from this place and the coal obviously from here this is coal right yeah 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 so this iron and coal patch will be good enough to feed feed this whole array easily we can get a lot of a lot of iron going and also yeah then we're gonna set up the copper next. So, I see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is our very basic smelting array. Uh, obviously, to finish it off, we just need to get um, those guys in here. Let's do that real quick. Furnaces. Um, whoa, hello. What did just happen? I don't know. But... Yeah, behind us, obviously, like this. And yeah, to really finish it, we would need some lights. Don't we have lights already? Uh, no, I don't think I researched lasers yet. I think that is the first stage to getting lights. We're almost done here with the research. Let's quickly check. And then we can end the episode. Some of that. Yeah, we really need to get our... Oh, yeah, we ran out of power. That's obviously bad. Whew. Yeah, we need to automate, we need to automate that too next time. <coughs> Definitely want to pull some coal down to our power plant because that needs to run constantly there cannot be any failures all right yeah let me quickly see yeah we need to research that that will give us lights and i see you next episode thanks for watching my friends i'm out bye guys